Welcome. My name is Ken Essex, and we are excited to have you here joining us virtually today as Kawasaki announces a number of new Kawasaki models for 2021. This year has had no shortage of challenges, but Kawasaki continues our dedication to listening to our customer needs and continuing to evolve and broaden our model lineup. Last year, we announced Kawasaki's entrance into the sports side-by-side -side market with the Terex KRX 1000, which was named 2019 Sport UTV of the Year by ATV.com and just recently named 2020 UTV of the Year by UTV Action Magazine. This spring, we added two new additions to the Terex family with the Terex KRX 1000 Trail Edition and KRX 1000 Special Edition. Earlier this year, we announced the new KX450 and all new KX250 that have seen immediate success. In addition, we saw the all new KX250X and 450X off-road models. Typically, the industry is buzzing with events across the globe at this time with new street motorcycles. And today, you get to join in on that announcement from the comfort and safety of home. I'd like to now welcome a special guest, Mr. Inoue, General Manager, Marketing and Sales from Kawasaki Heavy Industries in Japan, who will introduce us to Kawasaki's advanced development for the future. Fellow motorcycle fans, power sports enthusiasts, and journalists around the globe, we have all been affected by COVID-19 one way or another. It is times like these that our ability to stay true to our mission, to deliver the good times to you through our exciting products, such as motorcycles side-by-side -side and personal watercraft is truly tested. In order to take on this challenge, we are ready to harness the entire Kawasaki Heavy Industries group strength. The Ninja ZX-10RR, which just won the World Superbike Championship title, coupled with the Manufacturer's Award six years in a row, clearly illustrates our collective strength. Another example, is the world only supercharged motorcycle lineup exclusive to Kawasaki. The H2 series has been developed together with our aerospace and gas turbine divisions. This year, we launched the supercharged Super Naked ZH2 that has put smiles on so many faces. What more can we do? That you will see very shortly after this speech from my colleagues. Let me leave you with a promise. At Kawasaki Heavy Industries, we have a united mission to use our breadth of technological know-how, including ongoing projects such as electric, hybrid power sources, and AI, to move you in more ways than one. The challenge to deliver unrivaled thrills remains as Kawasaki's commitment to you, our loyal fans. Stay safe and stay strong. Let the good times roll. Hi, Kawasaki. How can I help?
Kawasaki's Rideology connectivity has allowed riders to connect with their Kawasaki motorcycles like never before. And as you can see, there's even more in development to take your riding experience to the next level. But AI is only one of those. Last year, you may have seen initial videos of Kawasaki testing an EV, electric vehicle. Kawasaki is continuing to develop this with hybrid electric vehicle technology, as well as projects for self-driving abilities to give the rider the best riding experience depending on the situation and customer. Let's get back to the exciting news here for 2021. The KLX lineup of off-road trail and dual sport motorcycles has long been a top seller and popular choice for riders of all ages, sizes, and skill levels. They are the perfect trail bike for the entry-level rider getting their first taste of off-road riding and equally fun and exciting for riders with many years of experience. Last year, we added the KLX 230R and the KLX 300R to the ever-popular KLX 110s and KLX 140s. This allowed Kawasaki to offer more options and models, ensuring that there was a KLX for everyone in the family and bridge the gap to the full-size KX competition models. Also introduced last year was the KLX 230 Dual Sport model, a perfect option for street versatility, but also serious fun when the road ends and the trail begins. No matter what KLX suits your needs, they all inspire the rider to want to get out and play. The next all new models to join the KLX family achieve these same goals. This new dual sport brings excitement and joy of motorcycle riding, whether street riding or exploring the trails. Introducing the all new 2021 KLX 300 dual sport.
A larger displacement version of the past KLX 250, the all-new KLX 300 shares the same dual sport roots. The engine is mounted to a high tensile steel perimeter frame that is lightweight and maneuverable. The engine is easy to use in low to mid range and delivers exhilarating pulling power through the higher revs, which makes the KLX 300 equally at home whether navigating city traffic or traversing the trails. The balance of the chassis and suspension paired with the larger displacement engine makes the all new KLX 300 the perfect choice for many riders and with sharp Kawasaki styling and always comfortable ergonomics, I personally can't wait to have some fun on one of these. The next model is for riders who want a little more excitement on the street, but not lose the comfort and nimble feel of the lightweight chassis and broad engine character. Introducing the KLX 300 Supermoto. The KLX 300 Supermoto includes all the same great features as the KLX 300 Dual Sport, but with some key differences. The first distinction is a 17-inch front and rear wheels, giving you great all-around performance on the street, as well as a larger 300mm semi-floating front disc for sure stopping power. The Supermoto provides a sportier feel and narrow handlebars, enabling quick handling on the street, paired with the new aggressive styling available in the classic Kawasaki Lime Green or a new Oriental Blue. Now, please welcome Mr. Kinuhata, Motorcycle Product Planning Manager at Kawasaki Heavy Industries, to tell us more about these two all-new KLX models. For the 2021 model year, we are delighted to introduce a lightweight dual-purpose model and an aggressive-looking nimble supermotor model. The KLX 300 and the KLX 300 SM are both incredibly exciting machines in their own right. They are also practical for getting around town easily and possess sufficient power for a comfortable highway cruising. Because of this, the KLX 300 and the KLX 300 SM will really add a spark to everyday riding. Both models features are fuel injected liquid cooled DOHC four-stroke single 292 cubic centimeter engine. That is optimized to deliver a strong yet easy to use power delivery at low and mid-range RPM that transitions smoothly to the powerful top end. The Enduro Racer based slim, lightweight perimeter frame and chassis components are the source of the KLX 300 and KLX 300 SM's high level of off-road performance. Whether riding on or off-road, the lightweight package offers both easy maneuverability and excellent handling. The greatest difference between the KLX 300 and the KLX 300 SM is their wheels. The dual-purpose KLX 300 is fitted with a 21-inch front wheel and 18-inch rear, enabling great off-road potential. On the other hand, the KLX 300 SM has 17-inch wheels front and rear that contribute to agile handling. In addition, its bold supermodel styling leaves a deep impression. Either model can be enjoyed by a wide variety of riders. So why not try one out for yourself? Thank you, and let the good times roll. Now let's check in with Martin Lambert, from Kawasaki Motors Europe with more exciting models for 2021.
let's talk about one of the most important new models, the 2021 Kawasaki ZH2 SE. It's really the head of the Z family. That's its job in life, and it's, we think, the, the king of the super naked. It is an incredible machine, and it's got a huge level of electronic rider aids, but in its heart is a wonderful, strong, muscular engine. We'll talk about these rider aids later on, Martin, but first let's listen to Kinuhata-san of Kawasaki Heavy Industries in Japan and hear what he has to say about this new model. For 2021, we will introduce a new top-of-range model for our world-famous Z brand, the ZH2SE. Since the first Kawasaki Z in 1972, Kawasaki has been a leader in the naked bike sector, and this new high-specification naked machine reinforces our place as a leader and innovator. With its unique balanced supercharged engine, the power, performance, and the poise of the ZH2 makes it the standout bike in its class. Now for 2021, we take the ZH2 concept to the next level with the introduction of KECS. This allows us to offer so-called Skyhook technology for the first time. The Skyhook concept imagines a hook supporting the sprung weight of the zh SE and modulates the damping force so that the wheel tracks the dips and bumps encountered while maintaining the motorcycle's composure with minimal disturbance. Additionally, the high-quality specification for 2021 also includes Brembo steel mud brake calipers along with Brembo master cylinder and steel mesh braided brake lines. With the class leading performance of the ZH2 SE, it's good to know you also have high quality brake components. Other rider centric features include an easy to read TFT meter panel and the ability to connect your smartphone to your Z by downloading Kawasaki's Radio ZZ app. Using the app, you can change suspension settings, device your rider mode setting, and many other functions. As well as reviewing previous rides you have made, along with fuel consumption figures and other interesting statistics. The Z family has always led from the front. Now with Skyhook technology, the zh 2 sc pushes the boundaries of the naked bike segment to new places, delivering a unique riding and ownership experience. Thank you and let the good times roll. Let's take one step back to the engine, which looks quite impressive. The engine is a 998cc four-cylinder water-cooled unit with that integrated balanced supercharger. It is an integral part of the engine and it is uh, one of the fundamental parts that sets this machine apart in that super naked category. We create the supercharger ourselves. The design, the manufacturer is all in-house. It's our kind of corporate strength. We use materials from aerospace division. We use help from the gas turbine division. So it's an incredible engine that can uh, offer very docile maneuverability at low speeds and at low revs, and then a really strong mid-range because of the supercharger and a high top-end rush. Uh, but it's also equipped with uh, a lot of electronic rider aids that, that help you tune the machine to yourself to personalize it, an up-down quick shifter, and also the convenience of electronic cruise control. So it does have a, a wide range of, of facilities and rider aids to, to really fine-tune the machine to yourself. <laughs> Sugomi is basically a balance between technology and design. For every technological advance, there is also a styling or design gesture. Sugomi is the driving force of Zed and unique to Kawasaki. Okay, to start with the front, let's talk about the father of Sugomi, Shunji Tanaka. His idea was that the, the front of the machine should have a face. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you can see the face in the headlamp style, the Kawasaki River Mark. That's only put on the most prestigious machines from Kawasaki's. The middle part, the bulk of the beast. Talk about the beast. Well, that is the very muscular heart of the machine. That's the uh, mass centralization. 
If you think about it, more like an animal about to pounce, that's that middle section. So the, the broad shoulders, the, the muscular stance. The rear is, is that suggestion of performance, the tail, which is a very sharp tail, a very sleek design. You'll have to tell us about Skyhook technology. Is it similar to what we see in cars? Skyhook is, is quite rare in the motorcycle world. Um, easiest way to explain it, I suppose, is you could imagine uh, a, a, a hook coming down from the sky and suspending the main part of the motorcycle. Then as the motorcycle goes along, the attitude of the motorcycle doesn't really change much and it allows the suspension and the wheels to move up and down in the deviations of the road. Uh, for the ZH2 SE, it's a semi-active suspension, so that's similar to the Versus, but it's tuned specifically for ZH2 SE. Martin, I seem to remember a kind of spectacular launch of the ZH2 in Las Vegas. Yes, we went to Las Vegas Motor Speedway and gave people a chance to ride ZH2 on a banked NASCAR oval. Also for 2021, it has a new Brembo package. It has the Stylema calipers, braided steel brake lines, Brembo master cylinder. So the level of braking technology has also moved forward for 2021. Electronic ride array, Brembo package with the Stylema calipers, shower technology with Skyhook, and the general styling look and feel of this machine. It is the range leader for sure in the Z family. When you ride the most advanced Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R and you have proven yourself over and over, there's only one rider left to face. Face yourself. Gradually refined to keep it in pole position on the track and at the head of the pack on the roads. Now we get a chance to take a closer look at the Ninja ZX 10R. It has 203 PS. ZX 10 R has a little bit more power and produces it in a slightly different way. It's a 998cc 16 valve water cooled engine. It has uh, finger followers, that means the valves are open longer and for greater duration, so it makes uh, more power. It also has a valve train which is significantly lighter than a normal valve train. As well as that, there's things like a cassette gearbox, which is a, a racing feature, slipper clutch, so an assist and slipper clutch, and uh, it's got an up-down quick shifter, things that you would only expect maybe on a race bike. There's a lot of World Superbike technology in there. We're talking about the engine, Martin. I guess there must be a lot of action going on within that engine. Yes, I mean, it's all controlled essentially by the brain of the bike, the, the IMU. You've got adjustable engine braking, for instance. You've got selectable rider modes. There's a lot of electronics going on. There are some day-to-day -day things that you might not expect at first. So, as an example, it now has cruise control. And even as an accessory option, you can get heated handlebar grips. So, it does combine some of life's luxuries as well as being a strong super sport machine. Inside the engine, there's a lot going on, but in terms of the chassis as well, mm -hmm. there's a lot of updates. Uh, it's got Brembo M50 calipers, as an example, but on the RR, the way that it, it differs from the R is that it's also got things like Marcazzini wheels, which have been developed specifically for the ZX10 double R. The double R is what you would call race ready. Yeah. So it's ready to perform and to be modified or changed if you wish, or even ridden as it is for a super fast track day bike. Mm -hmm. One thing we really need to explore is the new aero package. There are integrated winglets on the front of the machine. These allow air to pass through the cowling through tunnels. That's 17% more downforce 
due to having integrated winglets. The aerodynamic package just takes things to another level. Greater contact area of the tyre, greater grip, greater feedback. Here comes Jonathan Ray then, carving his way into the podium places. The race certainly looks above human. World champion in 2020, the celebrations can begin. Ray has done it for a sixth year in a row. Can you believe it? And on the rear seat, you'll see that that's changed the design as well. And that creates an area of low pressure. Add to that the fact that the uh, screen is 40 millimetres higher, so the rider can tuck in more with those uh, wider handlebars. And essentially, the whole aero package has been changed. It's been developed from World Superbike, and it's making a real difference to ZX10R and ZX10RR for 2021. We will take our Ninja brand to the next level with technical and engineering updates to both the Ninja ZX-10R and the Ninja ZX-10RR. The Ninja ZX-10R and RR have carried riders to over 120 wins in World Superbike races since 2011, as well as the world-famous Suzuka 8-hour race and many domestic championships, such as the British Superbike Championship. Jonathan Lea won his first ever race on his Ninja and has won multiple World Superbike Championships thanks to Ninja Power. So let's look at this bike of champions that is so loved by road riders, track day fans, and professional racers. The first thing to mention is that all the existing highly praised electronic rider aids, such as rider modes and sports traction control, remain for 2021. Added to this are many new engineering and technical updates, many of these as a result of input from the Kawasaki Racing team. Hours of testing by the factory team riders, providing information to KJ engineers, has resulted in a number of innovations for 2021, including a new aerodynamics package, compliance with Euro 5 for machines sold within Europe, and further refinements to the ZX10RR specification. The cowling now features integrated winglets, as the air passes over these effect is to create downforce. In fact, the 2021 ZX-10R is a bit up to 70% more downforce than the 2020 model. It also has a new rear seat design that creates an area of low pressure behind the rider, and a taller screen resulting in more aerodynamics front profile and greater efficiency. Additionally, there is a new air-cooled oil cooler and new handlebar positioning. Thanks largely due to the rigorous testing and feedback from the Kawasaki Racing team. For the 2021 ZX-10RR, Panko lightweight pistons are new, while the Panko lightweight connecting rod comes as a standard specification. These and other measures reduce the cylinder head group weight by approximately 500 grams and also allow the ZX-10RR to level 400 RPM higher, making more peak horsepower than the ZX-10R, as the machine that has carried racers to the World Superbike Championship podium every year since 2015. The ZX-10R is a super sports icon, and for 2021, we have made both the ZX-10R and the ZX-10RR even better. Road or race, there is only one choice, Ninja from Kawasaki. Thank you and let the good times roll. It's got a different dashboard as well for this year, right? Yeah, the TFT meter is different. It's really clear and easy to understand. The good thing is, is when you're concentrating on your road riding or even in track use, if you go to a track day, you can see it very clearly in your peripheral vision. And as you can see on the front of the machine, it has the river mark. So for 2021, the ZX-10R and ZX-10RR have that mark, which is only used on the most special and prestigious machines from Kawasaki. Thank you very much, Martin. And a big thank you to you as well, our viewers, for joining us for this special presentation of the 2021 Ninja ZX-10R and RR.
We covered a lot of exciting new models for 2021 that shows Kawasaki's commitment to technology and continuing to release new models for all segments and customers. But there's still more to come. And with the turn of the new year, Kawasaki will be announcing additional exciting new models. So stay tuned for more in January of 2021. Thank you for joining us and make sure to check out our website and your local Kawasaki dealer to find out all the latest details on the new models. Thanks again and let the good times roll.